Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Now this is the November BAM Horror Box. Very excited about this one. Uh, for people who don't know, I also did a unboxing for the original BAM box for November. Check that out because both these videos are out at the same time. <laughs> also check the other one for the explanation on why I'm doing this so late. Basically US Postal Service sucks. They're supposed to get these shipped in two to three days and it was six days. So terrible on them, um, but see my full rant on the original one. I don't take up too much time with that on this. Sorry about the lighting. I usually try to do it during the day to get some light coming in from here to diffuse things. It makes it look a lot better, but sorry. I'll try and fix it up a little bit, make it look a little better, but you'll be able to see everything when I put it up close. Be good. Let's get in this. I believe they said that for this horror box, this November horror box, that they were going to have two autographs for everyone in it. So I think that's what they said they're gonna do with it. If that's the case, that's cool. Uh, some of the properties I was like, eh, when they, when they kind of teased them, uh, and some of the properties I was like, okay, there could be some really cool stuff going on with this. First off, tissue paper for the cat. Go, go, go. Um, let me see if I got a one-up. A one-up would be really cool because I got a one-up in the original box and getting two one-ups would just be super sweet. But I don't expect it. All right, I don't think I feel, do I? Oh my God, I got another one-up. Boom, two one-ups, outstanding. That's exciting. And I think the colors correlate with what it is. So if this is correlating with what I think it is, it's the pin, which would could be amazing. Anyway, let's give this a shot. Oh no, did they do another one of these? Oh no, they did the same thing. What the f What is this? What is this? It's a button. This is literally a button. It's literally a button. What does this have anything to do with? I'm gonna have to check the... So, okay. So we saw this for the original band box for November, which, you know, it's just like a suspended um, display thing that you can just put it in here and set it up. And so we had a, a um, I won't spoil it, but we had something that was kind of like a, a better, much better item than this <laughs> for the other one that was from, I won't even tell you what property it was from, just watch that video. And, but it was way better than this. What, this is stupid and it's a button. It's literally a button. I got, I got to see what that is. Maybe it'll make it a little better when I find out what it is. <sighs> okay, a patch. Twisty the clown from American Horror Story. Fine. Um, I did the same rant on the original Bambox unboxing. I'm done with patches. Stop putting patches in this. Just give it a rest for a little bit. It's fine every now and then. Nobody signed up for the patches. Um, you said that the pillars for this were autographs, art prints, prop replicas, and pins. Never said anything about patches, and you've had patches in every box for a while now. Stop. Next, uh, I'm going to do the replica. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is the thing. Okay. Okay. So this is a prop replica from the movie The Darkness. Uh, and I'm assuming it's The Darkness that was done in 2016 with Kevin Bacon. This is a demon stone, a cursed demon stone from the movie, which is found kind of like in the... Let's see if I can get some better lighting on that. See? Okay. I mean, and it's, it, I mean, it's actually like a polished stone, and it's got that, you know, that thing kind of engraved on it there. This is a good idea. The Darkness is a terrible movie. Garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Um, I couldn't even, I, just, I turned it off. I started, started watching it. I got 15, 20 minutes into it, and I was like, this is not even watchable. Like, it's not. The best acting in it, obviously, was Kevin Bacon. Then you have a bunch of nobodies who cannot act. It was terrible. The storyline is garbage. Like, terrible movie. We should not be getting this kind of stuff for awful movies like that. I'm sorry. Okay idea. Not not digging it. 
Thus far, this box is terrible. Sorry. Let's see what the pin is. Okay, the pin is cool. Although that this isn't the up the this is not the upgraded item, the one up item. I hope it's not this because patches are. You know, we'll see. Anyway, this is cool. So this is from the movie Motel Hell, which if no one's seen the cult horror movie Motel Hell, you should definitely see it. This is a pin from a very iconic portion of it where there's a dude wearing a pig head having a chainsaw battle with a sheriff, I believe. It's like the, the sheriff of the town. Super cool. That looks good. I like that. Their pins are always really awesome. As I always say, I always love these pins. Next... I'm happy with that. <clears throat> art print for The Thing. Ooh, just seeing that it's an art print for The Thing. Oh, they could go so many ways with this, and it could be so amazing. So they have the same artist who did the art for the original band box for November, uh, Brett Weldell, or Weldelay. I don't know how you say it. I'm sorry, Brett. Um, pretty good, pretty good. Um, this is number... Okay, this is what my one-up was. Number 241 out of 250. So it's obviously Kurt Russell's character in the thing uh, with his flamethrower and the creature, the alien thing from the thing in the background. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, the creature looks a little odd to me because I don't think it ever got big like that. So um, it looks a little different than what the actual creature looks like. But I think the the Kurt Russell character looks really good. Like with the fire coming out of the end. Like that looks awesome. They could have just had him like going towards it. But that's a pretty good art print. I'm, I'm cool with it. I like it. I'm good. Now it looks like it's just one thing for the autograph. So I'm assuming that it's signed by two people. Which is cool. Uh... This is hand signed by the crazy babysitter twins from Planet Terror. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Not too bad. That That's fine. Because I really like Planet Terror. Planet Terror is super cool. And, yeah. So, they were, they're actually not good actresses at all. Um, so, if no one's seen Planet Terror, these actresses are actually really bad i think they're like family or friends of robert rodriguez so he put them in the film um but nonetheless they were in the movie planet terror planet terror is awesome robert rodriguez did a great job and this is cool because i can put this next to my signed planet terror uh, glossy that i have of rose mcgowan that i got recently at a convention so I can just put this right next to it and I'll be like, oh, look, two Planet Terror things. So that's cool. And at least this is actually horror because in the very first box that they that Bam did for horror, it wasn't even a horror franchise. It was Donnie Darko, and Donnie Darko is not horror. I mean, who they had do it, like, yes, looks a little horror-like, but it's not a horror movie. So the fact that they're now actually sticking to horror movies is good. And this from Planet Terror, I'm good with that. Let's look at what we got here. <laughs> I like this. I like the front of the, the cover of this booklet. <laughs> it's a turkey with the... Because Thanksgiving, obviously. All right. So the Motel Hell ones. Actually, you know what? The regular Motel Hell pin, in my opinion, was the best of them. So we have the one that I got, which is the other guy with the pig head and the chainsaw. Here's one of the people that um, they keep them underground and, you know, grow them and then ground them up for sausage. So that's a, only 50 of those made? Wow. And then the other one's 250, so it's the Motel Hello, but Motel Hell sign from it. So that's cool. Those are good. I'm glad that the normal one was what it is, because that's cool. Then they have, for the patches, oh, I got the limited edition patch as well. That's interesting. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I got the limited edition patch, but I don't care because I don't like these patches. But uh, that's it certainly looks better than the one than the normal one. I don't even know what the normal one's from. I don't even know what the normal one's from. 
Holes the Clown. Oh, is it also from American Horror Story? Oh, they're both from American Horror Story. I'm sorry, I'm not up on that show. I'll have to get there. All right, next. We had Planet the Planet Terror autographs. So there were limited edition ones. Oh, that actually said like Planet Terror at the bottom and it looked like like a movie poster. If you can see, I get the best lighting. Yeah, see, it's the same thing but like it says Planet Terror and it's got like the credits and stuff down there. That's the one I got and that's another variant of the regular ones. But that yeah, that would have been really cool. But only 99 of those done, which is nice. Then they have the stones from Darkness. I mean, it is good that they actually did different designs. So not everyone got the exact same design for it. But like I said, it is a really terrible movie. And I bet there are really no fans of it out there, to be honest. So I don't like that item at all. Um, then they have a Drag Me to Hell item. That's what this stupid-ass button is. Um, it's from Drag Me to Hell, which is a really good movie, actually. It's cursed. It's a cursed button off the coat of the witch character, the gypsy character in there. That's lame. You should have just not put it in the box. That's... That's a downright terrible item. I'm sorry. That's lame as shit. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. All right, so I, I did get the, I mean, like I said, I got the, the rare, or the uh, one-upped art print, which both of the art prints are really cool, but yeah, I do like the, the one that out of 250 that I did end up getting. Let me see, that's the one I got right there. The other one looks really good, too, with like all the greens and stuff. That's cool. And then, yeah, so then on the back, uh, they're doing a, a, this is really cool, a contest for a signed photo glossy from the movie, the new It movie, uh, Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise. You can see right there, super cool. I put in for that contest. I usually don't go for the contest because of your chance of winning is so low. But for this, like, that's an awesome movie, and Bill Skarsgård did an amazing job as Pennywise, so... If there's a chance for me to get it, I'm throwing my hat in the ring. So, um, overall for this, pretty happy. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with this because whenever I'm okay to cool with the autograph, like the art print, and like the pin, I'm good. And I do with this, so I'm good with this box. I can just do without the garbage extra stuff. Patches, terrible. This replica... Not, a, not the worst idea, but horrible, horrible movie that nobody likes. And this pin is atrociously bad. Bad concept. Just not good. Not good. Um, but, like I said, I'm, I'm actually happy with it. Obviously, I'll continue with it. They have been doing a relatively good job with their horror box. So, I'm down with it. I, obviously, I'm going to give it the good and the bad. I know it sounds like I'm like really hard on them, but like... If I really don't like things, I'm going to let you know I really don't like them. If I really like them, I'm going to let you know I really like them. So, you know, up here and down here meets in the middle or a little higher than the middle. But anyway, thank you for checking this out. Hopefully the December boxes show up on time, U.S. Postal Service, you jackwads, um, because then I can get the videos out in, in a timely manner and people can see them like right as everyone's getting their boxes instead of now when everyone's probably already gotten their boxes so we'll find out but there's some cool franchises for both of the december boxes i'm actually really excited about them and that's one of the great things about bandbox when they're doing the teasers they're teasing a lot of good franchises they're doing a good job picking that stuff so like it anyway thank you everyone for checking this out um if you can subscribe i would really enjoy that and then also give some likes just for fun <laughs> and let people know that if they like unboxing videos I do them. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.